Hey, hope you guys are doing well. I'm actually re-recording the first part of this video because for some reason it's not with the rest of the video. It's the weirdest thing, but in any event, I'm going to reenact it. Hey YouTube, it's LaDon. How are you? <laughs> Anyway, how I started the video um, off was uh, letting you guys know that this may be a rant, or not rant, but random video because there are a lot of things that are were going through my mind as I created the video. I wanted to get you up to date about the website I created for those of you who are doing the New Year, New You um, health and wellness journey. I'm really excited about that and um, so I did create that website and then I just wanted to share with you hair of the day. So I'm just going to lean in and show you the hair of the day. Um, this is a braid out and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this later in the video, but I love it. I am in love with uh, braid outs, y'all. Just know that. So you're gonna see a lot of braid outs and I think I'm gonna try different um, products, experimenting with them and different ways of doing braid outs and styles and stuff like that. Anyway, um, so the one of the purposes of creating this video was to tell you that I did create that site. I'm going to place the link in the comment section below so you can visit it. And I want to first of all, first of all, thank all of you guys who said you would do the journey with me. I am so happy because I do not want to do this alone. And you know how we have those moments where we're in our mind, you know, thinking, oh, you're not going to lose weight. You're not losing it fast enough. You don't, you know, you fell off the wagon. You know, you had that candy bar or big old piece of chocolate cake <laughs> or whatever it is and so you know there's all this negative you know kind of self-talk we do to ourselves sometimes um, where we get discouraged and so I'm so happy that we're gonna have this community um, of all of us who are you know who have decided to do it together so that we can encourage one another and you guys can help keep me on track and hopefully the post will help you to you know stay on track and you know, stay encouraged and come up with new techniques and ideas and ways um, to, you know, embrace a newer you in 2013. So I've uploaded the information so you'll see some health and wellness stuff. There's some diet, um, not diet, but, you know, like recipes, low calorie recipes or more healthy living type recipes uploaded to the site already. I talked about prepping your meals. Oh my gosh, that is so important. And I'm going to do a video specifically on that because I think that's the single most important indicator or uh, single most important step in living a healthier life. You know, just planning and um, thinking out, you know, anyway, I'm going to talk about it later, but I talk a little bit about prepping. And so um, I'm going to do a video on that. Um, I also uploaded a video to my uh, Power Smoothie. Oh my God, I love that. So, and uh, there are going to be more recipes for smoothies and also vitamin water because I make my own vitamin water too. It keeps my energy up. It really helps me to stay, um, you know, present just mentally and physically and keep my energy up. So I'm going to, you know, do an upload of that. And um, then there are other things that I've uploaded to the site, but I added a couple of sections that were pertinent to me. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be selfish. <laughs> but, you know, they may resonate with you as well. And I'm happy to add other sections based upon where you guys want to go with your journey. You know, I didn't have that input when I was, uh, you know, getting the site up and running. So that's why it's only reflective of some of the areas that I was interested in. But, you know, there are sections on there um, around beauty and fashion and finance. And the reason I did those three together is because one of my resolutions for the new year is not to pay full price for anything. I'm not trying to pay full price for nothing. So um, uh, I want to be able to share with you guys different strategies that I've begun to employ to save money. Because like I told you all, I have a girl going to college. My daughter is going to college next year. And so... <clears throat> I can't believe I'm actually saying that. My daughter is going to college next year. Crazy. Where does the time go, right? Um, so I need to, um, you know, and I want to just be a better steward of my finances. So um, I've 
actually uploaded that to the site. And so now I'm going to go into where the next part of this video starts because I was talking about savings and how I'm going to pass them along to you guys. I'm going to post it on the site so you guys can take advantage of it. If I see, um, you know, different discounts or offers, I'm just going to update it, you know, so we can all save, if that makes sense. So I'm going to pass it, uh, play it forward in that way. Um, I also included finance, as I mentioned, and there is a new tool I added to the page. It's a great savings tool for you if you'd like to kickstart your savings um, for 2013 or if you don't really have a methodology for saving. It's a great place to start kind of looking at that tool. You can modify it to meet your needs. Um, and then also how I'm using it is I'm using it as a tool to um, that, uh, to kind of support an activity my daughter and I are doing together. So I want her to understand the importance of saving and, and stuff like that because she's really going to be making her own money this year. So, um, so we're going to use that tool together so that uh, we have goals each week in terms of saving or bi-weekly. Again, you can modify it monthly, bi-weekly, weekly, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's a great tool. So check that out and don't hesitate to take advantage of that, that particular tool. There's also a free sample um, uh, update I placed to, the, um, to that website and it has, I think it's prescriptive. Is it prescriptive? Or physician's formula. It's a free giveaway for a new skincare product. So get yours because it's up and it's active. That's there. Um, as well as a bunch of other stuff. So that site is up and running. Um, the second thing I want to do, oh, is I want to show you hair of the day. So this is the hair of the day. This is another braid out. Um, you guys should know I am loving braid outs right now. And um, I made the decision over the weekend that I am only going to do braid outs. Um, I'm not going to do any other uh, wash and goes. I may do a wash and go here and there. But primarily for January, for February, I'm just going to be watch, uh, uh, rocking stretched styles. Um, I, seriously, this braid out, these braid, last few braid outs I've been doing, just the bomb, y'all. I mean, I have been loving them and getting so many compliments on them. Um, the texture is really good. It stays really moist. I don't have to rebraid every night. Um, I can either slip a bonnet on or just go to bed on my satin pillowcase and it holds up great. Day two will maybe be a little bit fuller but still has great um, texture and all of that. And um, I did my last one for, I want to say it lasted me like four days. But um, I don't want to go four days. One of the things that's part of my regimen, maybe I'll do a video for this, for my winter regimen. One of the elements of my winter regimen is putting water on my hair um, at least every three days. Um, I was doing it every day, but I don't think it's necessary right now to do it every day. If it gets really, really cold, then I'll think about that. But yeah, putting water on and just resetting the hair. Um, so I won't be going another you know, four or five days uh, um, with a braid out. But it can last that long. I just wanted you to know that. Um, and again, I'm not using anything but water, aloe vera, um, uh, juice, and um, uh, my daily moisturizer and shea butter. So that's it. Loving, loving, loving it. Um, so I'm going to be doing stretch styles, so I'll probably do more videos with stretch styles, and I may, what I'll probably do to vary the videos is try different products for my braid outs, just so you guys have an idea of, um, you know, what my results are. Um, I'm really interested to see what happens if I use a gel, um, like an Eco Styler gel, um, or even my Kinky Curly curling custard. I think I used that. I used the Kinky Curly curling custard the first time. Um, did I? No, I didn't. Did I? You know what? I can't remember. Anyway, <laughs> but I want to try different leave-ins. I want to try um, different, you know, twisting um, uh, uh, products and, and stuff like that. Again, keeping it all natural though because, you know, I don't play that when it comes to silicones. 
And even if I were going to try cello cones, this would not be the time of year I would do it um, because it would cause my hair to dry out really, really fast. Um, and if you don't know why, check out my silicone, <laughs> you know, good, bad, and ugly really video that really breaks down what silicones do to, to the hair. Um, the quote-unquote bad ones. For me, they're bad, not for everyone. Okay. So, um, so the last thing I guess I'm going to talk about is um, is something else I'm planning to add to that site. I didn't do it yet, but I will do it. Um, and this is something that I am doing. I've just decided to do this. You guys don't have to do it, of course. Like I can make you do anything. <laughs> My daughter says that to me. She's like, well, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> You don't run that in here. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so, but I am doing um, kind of a, a play it forward um, activity this year. And it's, um, it, I live in the Chicagoland area. I think I've mentioned that on several occasions. And as you guys probably know, I mean, we've been in the news just around the number of um, uh, murders experienced in the Chicago in, in Chicago not the Chicago land area because for instance the community I live in very low crime I don't think we I don't think we had any murders in our community last year at all in our uh, township um, but most of the work I do with youth is in Chicago in fact all of it is in Chicago so and I work in some of the most violent financial financially challenged um, uh, neighborhoods in the city um, and I work in some of the most challenged you know financially challenged you know lack of resources um, um, you know high crime communities also within the Chicagoland area even when it comes to suburbs I provide programming in some of those areas um, as well because that's you know that's where a lot of programming of the programming is needed um, I also work with folks who don't have those challenges, but it is my personal mission and it's a part of what I believe my purpose is to make sure that, you know, these life skills and coping skills and esteem building, career exploration, college planning activities are available to, um, to you who ordinarily would not have them because they're viewed as disposable. Talked about that, I think, in a previous video. So, in any event, um, um, what I've decided to do this year um, is to honor the lives of any uh, youth who um, die too soon in the Chicagoland area. So whenever um, a young person age 0 to um, 18 passes away um, as a result of violence in the city of Chicago, I am going to do an act of kindness in honor of their memory, whether I know them or not, but I want to honor their life. And I'm also doing that as a hope of, um, as a hope or in hopes of, um, drawing attention to the fact that um, these are lives that are being being taken needlessly and um, that they happen every day. It shouldn't take, you know, a theater, movie theater full of people getting shot up or a mall of people getting shot up or, Lord have mercy, a school full of kindergartners being shot and killed um, for us to become engaged in what's going on in our community whether your issue is gun laws you know whether it's violence um, period you know whatever your you know particular um, passion around the issue is you know I hope you'll join me in kind of allowing that to manifest you know, uh, doing something to address it in, in your community. And what I'm doing, you know, of course, I, I do my programming and a lot of uh, we, what we do is conflict resolution, nonviolent conflict resolution is a critical component to our programming. 
Um, but, you know, in addition to that, what I'm doing as LaDon is uh, choosing to honor, um, honor their lives and uh, bring attention to, you know, the fact that, yes, another child has died. It shouldn't be just something we see on the news and we keep clicking, but to draw attention to it. And so um, I'm going to be posting their pictures, a little information about them, a little information um, around, you know, um, how their life was taken, and then what act of kindness um, I am doing in their memory. I'm going to be putting that on the site as well. So if you would like to do something similar in your city, please do let me know. Um, I know that's a huge responsibility. I've said I'm going to do every child that passes needlessly that is murdered. I hate to say that. It's such a horrible statement that every child that is murdered. But every child that's murdered in um, Chicago, I will be doing some type of act of kindness to honor their memory. So um, I know that's huge, and not everyone has the capacity to do that. I don't know how I'm going to have the capacity to do that because my plate is so full right now, but I will. It's important to me. Um, maybe you want to do something in your city, but maybe it's not every. Maybe it's, you know, monthly, once a month, you'd like to do an act of kindness to, you know, um, to um, honor the lives of whomever. Maybe it's youth. Maybe it's you know, seniors, maybe it's everyone, you know, who um, loses their life as a result of um, uh, violence or uh, gun violence or maybe it's HIV, whatever it is. Um, maybe you'd like to do something that honors their life, I don't know, for your city. But if you would like to do something like that, you know, reach out to me um, in the comments below. I read all of the comments, by the way, and I try to answer all of them if they're questions. So I just want you guys to know that. Um, so if that's something you want to do, then please do let me know. And um, make sure you get your tail on over to the site <laughs> um, so that uh, you can use that area also to, um, to post what you've done or so that I can feature you for that month and tell people what you're doing as well. Um, and I think we may also start a Facebook page um, around it. Well, we already have a Facebook page. So <clears throat> on the No Lie Naturally Me, Me Facebook page, we'll also honor you and, um, um, you know, highlight those, those sorts of things as well on that page. So uh, that's it. I'm tired, y'all. Okay. Oh, last thing. Okay. So you can, I, I see my lipstick is kind of showing up in this video. The lights are a little hot to me. But yeah, I found this lipstick. I love this. And this is another Wet n Wild lip color. This is called, what is this called? The light is so much in my eyes. It's called Dark Pink Frost. I like this. It actually reminds me of a pink I used to wear in high school when I was a senior, although that pink had a little more blue in it. This one I want to say has a bit more gold in it. Yeah, it's a little warmer than the one I wore in high school. But I haven't worn pink since then. So I used this so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. I know the lights are kind of bright, but yeah, this is it. It is very moisturizing. But it's kind of matte in appearance. Um, I love it. I love it. And I paired it with Plumberry Lip Liner. This is it. It's also by Wet n Wild. And it's uh, the Wet n Wild Color Icon line. And it is um, number 715. And it is called Plumberry. See if I can get this to show up. There we are. Everything is written reverse on here. But yeah, but that's it. And here, let me see if I can get this to show up at all. The lights are like so hot. I'm sorry. Here we go. 502A. 502A. 
Sorry that wasn't better, but my next video will probably be in daylight anyway. And I guess that's it, guys. All right. Um, I love this lip color. Definitely recommend it. As I mentioned to you guys last year, I am on a quest for lip color. And I want to try um, wearing lipstick again. And I've been wearing lipstick like almost every day for the last month or so. And I have found some really nice colors um, like this pink I really like. I have a couple of reds I really like. <gasps> I didn't tell y'all. My daughter bought me Ruby Woo uh, by MAC for Christmas. And she also purchased um, the cherry lip liner that goes with it or can be paired with it. And so I'm going to do a video where I show you guys that. Oh my gosh. I love it. But I love the dupe that I got from Wet n Wild too. So I don't know. The big difference between those two for me is that the Ruby Woo is super matte. And I didn't think I would like anything that was super matte. But oh my god, it looks so good. And let me tell you, I got so many compliments on that color. Not only, you know, in the MAC store, I was like, oh, they're just complimenting me because, you know, it's a MAC product and, you know, everybody in here like, likes matte. But when I left the store, every place I went, compliments. People were like this when I walked by. <laughs> that is an attention-grabbing lip color, let me tell you. One of the other things I noticed is that that lip color did not leave anything on my teeth. The, the dupe, it did. It did. <laughs> it would leave, you know, I had to be very careful to make sure there was no lipstick, you know, around this part because it would leave lipstick on my teeth. And I don't like that. But, you know, I'm going to work with it because it was $1.99. I'm just saying. Budget. But, yeah, so my daughter did give me the Ruby Woo. So I have the Ruby Woo. And um, hopefully I'll be able to get some more matte colors on um, discount by shopping on eBay. <laughs> I love eBay, y'all. Um, but I haven't been really active on there very much. So I'm going to see what discounts they have. I'm actually going to buy some curl formers. I'm going to try curl formers. I'm going to wait for my hair just to get a little bit longer. You know what? I think I'm going to get the curl formers off of eBay. I've seen them there for $25 for the set that's normally $60. I'm just saying. $25? Okay. I'm there. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to get that for my... I have an anniversary coming up. A hair anniversary. So, um... That will be my, what will that be? That will be my, oh, one year since I um, finished my transition. One year since I finished my transition uh, anniversary. So I think I'm going to do that to celebrate because I am not paying $65 for curl, curl formers. I'm sorry, Sally Beauty Supply. You are not getting that out of me. That's just too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, it's like I got insulted, didn't it? Didn't I? Uh, anyway, but yeah, I've seen them on there, so I'm going to try curl formers just to see what the hubbub is about that and whether I like them more than flexi rods. I'm almost certain I'm going to like my flexi rods better. I really like my flexi rods, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to um, get some of those, um, and so I'm also going to look at lipsticks and stuff like that, more stuff like that. All right. Uh, I've talked myself tired, so I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope that you guys have a great day. Bye.